Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tech Genius. And today I'm gonna... Sorry, mess up. Okay, so today I am going to be showing you guys how to add chat tags to your default Roblox chat. Now, it's very simple and very easy, so all of you guys should know how to do it and understand it after you guys do it. So, what you want to do first is copy the chat module, so you want to do that by clicking play. Then go to the drop down chat, and then copy all this. Copy and then stop the game. Then paste it back into chat. Now you have chat modules. And what you want to do after that is right click on chat, insert object, module script. And now we're going to start coding our chats or chat tags. So you're gonna want to do local market equals game get service market place market place service then local game pass equal game get service market place service now you want to do local game passes equal set brackets and then just click enter. Then you want to do that or you can either put zero or add whatever your game pass ID is. And you want to do that. Set brackets. Title equals I'm just gonna put VIP and color equals um Color equals color 3 dot from RGB. I'm gonna make mine white. So white is 255, 255, 255. Then after that, you wanna put a comma. Then color 0 equals color 3 dot from RGB. Also make this 255 white. Then after that, oh wait, I forgot something. Yep, I forgot one thing. You're gonna need priority, so priority. I'm gonna make this priority equals two, comma. So there you guys have it. There's the game pass part. Now you wanna do local players. Players equals set brackets. Um, I'm gonna put my ID then equals set bracket title equals creator priority equals two or equals three. You can put any number besides zero because you cannot set um, zero for priority or else it wouldn't work. So I'm gonna make mine VIP two and um, players three. So after that is color. So color equals color three dot from RGB. I'm gonna make this one red. So that's two five five. And color zero equals color three dot from RGB. I'm gonna make my text white and then set bracket and you're done with players. So now we're gonna do the function part. So function I'm gonna do send info player. Then after that, local info equals nil. Local priority equals zero. And then for key value in pairs, oops, game passes do. Um, 
we're gonna need to add a Game Pass checker since Roblox up updated their marketplace function. So all you want to do is add another local called local checker equals game get service replicated storage replicated storage dot events wait for child game pass checker so you do not need the events part but I always put folders in my um, replicate storage so I'm gonna name this folder events just so I can keep everything organized. Then you want to insert object, um, remote function, name it game pass checker or whatever you want. Just know that if you name it something else, you're gonna have to change it in this. So if you name it checker, just remove game pass. But I named mine game pass checker, so I'll leave game pass checker. So after that, Checker um, in the server. So we're doing remote functions here. So key network server key equals plus true and value dot priority is more than priority then and info equals title equals value dot title color equals value dot color and color zero equals value dot color value dot color zero and then close that up with brackets and priority equals value dot priority. So that should be all for game passes. Now we need to move on to the players. So players for key value and pairs. Oops. Players. ID equals equals um, key and value that priority is more than the then info equals info you can just copy and paste this so that should work and then after this end you want to put return Info. And after that, we can send info. And now I'm just gonna add a little keys just so I know what everything is. So title equals the um, tag or whatever. Um, priority. I'm just gonna say that equals rank because I don't know what I would put for that. Color equals name. Then color zero equals text. So color is the name color and color zero is the text color. So that should be it. And I'm gonna do one last thing just because you guys might want to add it. I'm going to add groups. So to add groups, you wanna add another local. So local groups equals set brackets. And I'm just gonna get my, I'm just gonna put zero for now, but it should work at the end. So after that, you want to add the same thing. I'm gonna add this, if I can copy it, control C, and then set bracket, there. And that should be it. Change the priority to four. Now 
Now once you do that, you want to add another for key value. So I'm gonna do for key value oops, spacer value in pairs groups do if Value that priority is more than priority. Then same thing with this. Just copy that and paste it, and that should be it. So now for the game patch checker, we're gonna want to go in server script service. So open up server script service, insert a script and we're gonna do local GPS which is game pass servers or you can just do game pass so if you go game get service game pass oops, service and then local remote so now we're gonna have to locate the remote. So that's in replicated storage. So you wanna do game get service replicated storage then dot events for child game pass check checker. After that, local function return pass info. So this will return the info back. So player pass ID. Then if game pass service, game pass service player has pass. So the player has the game pass player pass ID then return equals true or oh, not equals return is true return true else return false and then after that at the end you want to do remote dot on server invoke equals return oops return pass info and that should be all for the server script service you go you can name this whatever you want game pass check so now you want to go into the default chat so you want to go here Drop that down and go to message creator modules, drop that down and go into default chat messages. Now, this does look long, but we're not gonna code that much. So, you wanna go here around line eight and add a new local. So local chat tags equal require. Oops, game get service. So that is what I'm going to name my module script and if you name it something else you're going to have to add it. If you have separate words so like tags module and it has a space between all you want to do is put a bracket and semi or not semicolon um, whatever that's called apostrophe and then And that's how you add separate words, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to put tags. Rename this back to tags. Don't forget to do that or the script will break. And that 
after that, we're gonna go down to local tags right here. Don't mess with that, just skip a line. We're gonna add our own, so local info equal chat tags. Um, game get service. Game get service, players. Oops, forgot that. Players, and then find first child. Um, two string, two string from speaker. And then after that, well, I was missing some parentheses there. After that, you want to do local format used name and you want to remove this local. So, remove that and then skip line if info, then um, else. So, this is where we're going to add this in. Okay, so you want to copy and paste that there, and this is the um, how it's gonna format your tag. So string the format on the first one. You want to add info dot title creative, and then you want to skip a space and percent s is your username. So the tag should go right here. So I'm gonna leave that. And then this one is just default. So that should be good. And then after that you wanna just remove that line. And you should be done. So it should work now. So let's go test that. Click play. Text high. And as you can see it works. And this should be red. But I don't know. But it is working, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.